right. I hit the record button. I remembered. Yes. Good job. All right. Good job, my friend. Hello, right. everybody, and welcome to episode six of the Clockwork episode Cantina. Six. Hell yeah, man. Pretty soon. Pretty soon we'll be up there, man. Pretty soon. In the in the hundreds of thousands. Oh. We'll, we'll be in the actual. We'll be in the double digits soon, actually. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we're getting there. That's, we're getting there. That's what. We're, that's what we're approaching. Hey, hello, everybody. Hey, chat. How are you guys doing today? I'll just tell you right now, Daniel's gonna be carrying this show hard because I've been up for a very long time. Um, <laughs> uh, but it'll be fine. We got. And this is the most prepared I've been. So, as always, you guys know. We go into uh, a little bit of news, uh, you know, gaming news and TV show news and movie news, uh, which I actually don't have any game, any gaming news this week. Well, you know, the good news is I, that's all I have, <laughs> and I have no television, and no. Well, that's fine. Uh, I have one well, television. There you go, man. We we have we have things to to balance out. So. But first of all, let's get uh, let's introduce ourselves because I think that's something we've been forgetting to do. Like every time we start. Every um, podcast. Yeah, yeah, which is something we should do. So, I'm Josh902, and then over here we got our good buddy. I am DT3. Yeah, 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 and we're your host for the Clockwork Cantina this entire Indeed. time. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just the two of us for now, but eventually we'll have, like, you know, guests and stuff show up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just getting our feet under us right now, so we haven't had too many, or anybody yet, but eventually. Yeah, we haven't had, we haven't had anybody yet, but we'll, we'll get some people at some point. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Anywho, For sure. let's get started with uh, what have you been up to this week? How you watching thing, play anything? What you been doing? I, man, I, unf dude, I, I've been slacking on watching TV shows, man. Like I, no, I have too. I haven't been watching anything, man. There's so it's funny because there's so much to watch, and I just have not been watching anything, dude. Like I'm, I'm starting to fall behind, man. Because there's gonna be more shit coming out. Like Stranger Things three is coming out soon. And I'm just like, fuck, dude. And Damn. like, there's just so much that I need to like catch up on, man. But I just, I haven't. I'm um, the same boat. The, yeah, the main thing that I'm happy about that I've been doing this week is, uh, finally, yesterday I managed to beat The Witcher three after months of playing that damn game. Woo woo. I finally beat it. I love that game, man. But I was like, you, you, you know, when it, you know when it's time, it's like, yo, when is this? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, you know, at some point, this thing has to end, right? And that was me with The Witcher Three. Like, I love that game, but you know, I was like at the point where I was ready to, you know, finish that, wrap that game up. But I absolutely love it. I, uh, it's the only game that I've ever left a Steam review on. So if that tells you anything, oh I'm damn, wrong. man, you now you I'm, know I'm, it's serious. Yeah, that's how you know it's serious. If I left the damn Steam review, so you know. Um, but yeah, man, I'm I'm glad to finally beat that. Uh, we can move on to other games on stream, so it's gonna be fun. And yeah, I haven't seen really. Well, actually, that's a lie. I said I didn't watch any TV shows. I haven't watched any new TV shows. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Because I'll, I'll talk about what I was rewatching once we get to the main topic. All but, uh, right. But uh, yeah, man, haven't been, been yeah. That's 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 like the that's a, that's like the main thing for me is a finally being The Witcher Three, man. What what have you been up to though? Uh, let's see. Well, I'm mostly been playing the Path of Exile. You know how much I play. Every, <laughs> yeah. every, every new league I try to play, I didn't get to play the last league, but I played a. I've played like sixty hours this league, uh, which is a lot. Uh, and uh, and uh, I'm I'm the furthest in the end game I've ever been, and I'm still super confused by crafting, and, and don't how no don't know how to explain any of that. Um, and still learning maps and stuff. And it's fucked up because because I've, I've hit end game the last few leagues several times. And still have no grasp on it, which just goes to show how fucking deep that game is. Super good. And that's all I've really played. I haven't watched anything either. Like, I prepped D&D. &D, that was about it. I prepped a lot of D&D. &D. Heck yeah, man. We got D&D &D tomorrow, which I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, that'll be tomorrow, guys. Come come by for that. Because as always, I'm ready to play every week, man. But yeah. we, gotta, we got unfortunately got to wait every two weeks or every other week, whatever. Just to, just until Jake's home game gets canceled, and then it'll be like every week. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. So pray for failure. 
Those guys suck and we rock, so fuck those guys. <laughs> Kidding, obviously. Uh, D and D's for everybody. Yeah. But D and D's fun, man. If you guys haven't checked out haven't checked that out, definitely should. It's it's a it's a, it's a blast. We have quite a few uh awesome people on that, so Damn Skippy. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Let me check. Uh, I'll just look at my Steam really quick and be like, what have I played this week? Because it'll say on there. Uh, I know we played some Borderlands. We did some Borderlands. Yeah, we, we, yeah, that's another thing. We have been playing some Borderlands too. Yeah, yeah. which has been fun. It has been. Yeah. Spoiler Ooh. alert. If you guys want to know where we're at, uh, spoiler alert for uh, Borderlands 2. You've been warned. The part that we left off on was uh, after the sanctuary gets like fucking bombarded. So that's where we're at, and I'm, I think we're gonna play more later today. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But I'm, I, you know, I like the game. It's, it's any game is a lot more fun when you have um, more people to play with. So. Yeah, that's the reason I haven't played it before, really. Even though I've had it for, I've had it since it came out. And never played it except for like here and there because my friends were always like, "We'll play some Borderlands," and then they quit, mm. and then yeah. they come back way later and be like, "Let's start new characters and play Borderlands," and then they'll quit again, <laughs> and it <laughs> and just sucks. It's a horrible yeah. cycle. Uh, yeah, that's all I've played this week, by the way. Steve is telling me Borderlands Two Dungeon Painter Studio, which I used to make maps, and Path of Exile. Um, yes, yeah. For me, it's just been fucking Witcher and. Uh... Borderlands 2 and Dead by Daylight. This is the main three I've been playing recently. And the big, the, uh, and like the big things I've really been watching isn't like TV shows. I've watched a few like old school movies, um, but I've mostly been watching like just Critical Role and and like MCDM's uh, uh, D and D game over there, uh, the chain mm. on their on their Twitch channel. Go, go give them a follow if you want to see some cool D and D by people that are. Way better at D&D than I am. <laughs> or DMing, rather. Matt Colville is awesome, and so is uh, mm. Matt Mercer. So they're they're amazing. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's all I've done. So I guess let's hop into the news. Let's do it, man. Uh, like I said, I don't really have much gaming news, so if you, you can go ahead and start this off for us. All right. I mean, all I've got is just, like, quick, quick hot take stuff, which is... Uh, yeah, I mean the reason why I don't have any is because like E three just happened, so that's when all the like news gaming news happened. But I'm sure, yeah, you'll find some stuff. Some yeah, some of it, some of it's related to E three stuff. Some of it's just like neat stuff. I think that's cool to know. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, uh, Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft has quietly established a new Age of Empires studio. Uh, oh. Let me get the link for it. I put it in my posty note. Very nice. Very nice. See what the article says here. There's an article on Gama Sutra I got up. Microsoft's acquisition of Double Fine might have stolen. Uh, hang on, let me read this. For, let me read. Let me credit this person first. This is by Chris Kerr of Gama Sutra. All right. It says Microsoft has acquisitions. Microsoft's acquisition of Double Fine might have stolen the spotlight of this company's E3 press conference, but the U.S. console maker has f- also formed another new studio on the quiet. In a blog post detailing the move, Microsoft revealed it has established a new Age of Empire studio helmed by veteran producer and former Xbox Game Studios general manager Shannon Loftus. The Shannon company Loftus. the company expressed a desire to commit more resources to expanding the Age of Empire franchise to ensure its legacy on PC continues in service of a passionate community of faithful fans. The Double Fine purchase and formation of the new Age of Empire studio means Microsoft now has 15 studios making games under the Xbox Game Studios banner. And with the new pair joining familiar names like Halo Developers, 343 Industries, Minecraft Maker Mojang, or Mojang? And Mojang, four- I think is how it's called. I have no idea how to say it. <laughs> Dude, I used to call it I used to call it Mojang too, but I think during one E3 they were like, oh, it's called Mojang. So that's how I always got stuck in my head. I'm redneck in the south, guys. You gotta forgive me if my mispronouncing of things. I can barely talk sometimes. And Forza <laughs> developers turn 10 in Playground Games, which is good news. And the reason I left this in here is because I, I like Age of Empires, and I damn sure know you do too. I definitely do as well. I've I put hours upon hours into those games. Um, and I and I count battle, uh, Galactic Battlegrounds in that because it's pretty much the same game. I mean, yeah, pretty much. 
So yeah, I put I put like I I can't tell you how many hours I've put into those games. So so it's good to hear that they're going to keep supporting Age of Empires for probably years to come. That's good, man. That's good. That's good. 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 Very good. So that's all of that. Delete that note as we're done with it. Uh, the next thing that I found interesting reading it was um, the reason that Breath of the Wild is getting a sequel is because the team had too many DLC ideas, and I think yep. that's very cool. I I, I heard I, yes, I heard about this. Is they they just had way too many DLC ideas, so like, you know what? Let's just make a damn sequel. <laughs> so yeah, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm not a I'm not I've never played a Legend of Zelda game, but I find that very cool and thought it was interesting, so I stuck it in here. I have not played the first Breath of the Wild yet, but I really want to. The art style and everything looks amazing. I mean, actually, that's a lie. I, I haven't, like, I don't own the game, but I've played some of it, like, on the Wii U or whatever, because I, I I knew I know somebody who had, who had it on the Wii U. So I played, like, some of it on there, and I, I really enjoyed the game, so I just need to get it for myself and play it eventually. Hell yeah. Stream it, because that'll be fun. Yeah, boy. But yeah, Breath of the Wild 2 is, is going to be pretty badass. Yeah, yeah, I watched. Uh, I've watched several people play it, and like, if I had a switch, I'd play it. Yeah. Anyway, that was that because I found it interesting. Um, some Jedi Fallen Order stuff, uh, which is to ease some concerns over how linear that little demo uh, looked. Uh, this says, uh, mm-hmm. "Jedi Fallen Order is a Metro game, and you gain new a uh, Metroid game, Metroid game, and gain you gain new abilities as you play. Obviously, which ab- apparently I think." What I read was, um, which opens up like you can do any area in any order, pretty much. Mm-hmm. What I heard was that you, at a certain point in the game, you 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 get your ship right, and you can travel to like any planet, however you want yeah. to do it. Yeah. Here's a tweet by Jason Schreier, who um from Kotaku, I believe. It's Jason Schreier. Yeah. Yes. I'm yes. sorry, guys. I'm a little I'm a little drowsy, so I have to double check everything. Um, someone from, and I'm quoting Jason Schreier here. Someone from Respawn told me about some of this stuff last week, and I was baffled. The demo looked fun, but I have no idea why EA would show the linear Nathan Drakus action adventure footage when it sounds like the game is so much more than that. Um, so which is uh, oh here's a different different tweet. The interesting thing about Jedi Fallen Order that the demo didn't show is that it's a Metroid game. You have a ship and a crew, and you can visit the planets in any order you like. As you gain new abilities, it allows you to unlock new areas on the other planets. Why didn't they show that? Says this tweet. I don't. I don't know. I'm still excited for it, and I was even by that little demo I saw because I'm just I'm itching for anything. But yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. I was. Yeah, that I that makes me even more excited. So. Yeah, yeah. That's some good good news. Good news there yeah. for Jedi Fallen Order, in my opinion. Absolutely, man! Can't wait to play that game. Yep, 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 yep. I, I need me some more Star Wars story games. So, hell yeah. So here's some stuff I got for Cyberpunk. Now moving on from that. Oh Which man, is, Cyberpunk! So the first thing for Cyberpunk is that the e, the demo that they showed at E three will be made public during PAX West. When is that? PAX West is that's a good question actually. Let's check. I know it's in Seattle, but I don't know when to think. That is August twenty ninth through September second. Okay. So it'll be in just a couple months. Yeah, several months. Yeah. 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 Uh, next thing I have is that uh, CD Projekt plans that they expl- they plan to have like Witcher Witcher three style expansions for Cyberpunk, which is super good. Ooh, super, yeah, it's super super badass. Having just literally having just played that game, <laughs> very exciting to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's pretty much all my gaming news. I'm gonna check the Reddit if you want to read off why you have just to see if anything's broke while we've been here. Uh. I don't really have too much, man. You don't I have just, uh, you don't have anything. That's cool. If you I don't have no. Yeah, I just you good then again. It I'm was good. like a uh, it was a bit of a slower week. For, in terms it really of has been. Years, it really has been. Which makes sense because again, E three just happened, so you know. Um, I'm just gonna yeah. scroll through the Reddit guys and double check and just see if there's anything worth mentioning that I might have missed. Get your get your free games from all the places that have free games like Hell yeah. the Epic Game Store and uh, Humble Bundle and GOG and all, all all of them places, man. They they're giving away free games. Also, I I should mention this. Uh, Steam Summer Sale coming up. Get ready, guys. Uh, I think it'll be on Tuesday. So get your dollar dollar bills, y'all. Get 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 yourself ready for that. Uh, for that spicy steam sale because uh 
it's it's coming up here the the, the rumored date is the 25th and that is on a tuesday this upcoming tuesday here so get ready i'll be keeping my eye eye out on stuff uh especially now that i'm done with witcher maybe we'll have uh maybe we'll have other things to uh to keep an eye out on speaking of yeah. witcher since you beat it are you what's what's your yeah. next big playthrough you got any ideas yet uh <clears throat> i don't want to jump th- i don't want necessarily want to jump into another like big game big like game that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do like some smaller games and before I do uh another uh series. But I'm thinking the next series of games that I wanna do is uh the Arkham series. Yeah, get you get I've, I've, played, I've played Arkham Asylum. Yeah, I played Arkham Asylum is the only one that I've played. But I definitely wanna get through the other ones because I have them all, I think. Let me let me just double check here. On my Steam, I have uh batman so i believe it goes asylum origins no asylum city origins and then night right i think that's how it goes i have all the other games on on steam but i played asylum uh like several years ago on the ps3 so that one i'm not gonna be doing because i already played it yeah i've played some here and there i love those games I'll probably jump straight into uh, Arkham City next, whenever I'm done playing some like smaller games. Because again, I don't want to jump into another like big, a big thing just yet. Yeah, just I barely just finished The Witcher Three last night, so. You know. I feel you. I feel you. You've you've been playing it for like a long time. For months, dude. For like forever, man. And I, again, I love that game, but I was like, you know what? We gotta we gotta wrap this thing up, dude. Um, Maggie brings up a good point in the chat. SGD2 does start, I believe. Yeah, I was I was gonna bring that up as well. Like Maggie, yes, SGDQ. Uh, Speaking of uh, of uh, charities and stuff like that, I've watched some Guardian Con stream yesterday. They they raise money for Saint Jude every year, and they're they're supported by the Destiny guys and all those. I was watching. So they they break it up in the like four hour blocks per streamer, and I was watching Co's block because I'm I'm a Co Carnage fan. Um, Co's, Co's and, cool. Co's and cool. they raised a hundred thousand dollars during his four hour block. It was fucking insane. Damn. And I think they've raised. God, I don't even know. I'm gonna look it up real quick because it's it's worth mentioning. I don't know if you guys have ever watched the the uh, Guardian Con uh, charity events that they do. They have a Twitter and everything, and they get they get streamers from all over Twitch to donate. Uh, the last tweet that I see that has the amount was they've raised two million six hundred thousand sixteen dollars. It's insane how much they've raised, which is amazing. That's, Good for those guys, because that's quite a bit, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff, man. Raising money for good causes is always hell yeah. Nice. So check out Guardian Con and check out SGDQ. SGDQ tomorrow apparently at uh yeah tomorrow June twenty third eleven thirty eight. Do they have a schedule up yet? I'm gonna go look. Central time, supporting Doctors Without Borders is is the is what's happening tomorrow. So check them out. Yes, oh my got their schedule. <laughs> Ooh. But yeah, also let me. Oh, I might watch that Devil May Cry run. Let Devil me double check something real quick. So for those of you who don't know, a good deal that you should probably get right now is uh speaking of gaming and games. Uh let me see, is it still oh this might not be on sale anymore. Rip. Oof, never mind. I don't think it's on sale anymore. Well, never mind, guys. Well, we tried. We tried. Maggie, I yeah, don't really I'm have not. one. To be honest. I don't have a favorite yeah. runner. I don't I don't know enough of them to <laughs> to have a favorite. I just like watching it cuz some of it's insane. Yeah, I don't think I have I, I don't think I know enough about speedrunners to to have like a favorite either. Anywho, uh, 
Well, that's all I got for gaming news. So if you unless you got anything else, we all can right. move on. I only have one no, thing we, for TV news, by the way. No, we we can move on TV news. Um, yeah, I, I have I have only a couple. Only have a little bit of things here too. So, um, the the main the meat of the news for me this this week is movies. But what do you got, man, for TV show? For TV show, I got Wheel of Time casting news. Oh, okay. So, for those of you that don't know what the Wheel of Time is, it is a book series. Of like five fucking million books. Let me double check and see how many there actually are. Cause this, <laughs> I got halfway through it and I was like, this is just too much. Um, Quite a bit. How many books is it? It is 14 books long. Uh, so it's, 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 it's 14 books. Well, if that's if you include a prequel um, <laughs> uh, in there. Uh, but the big one is uh, Rosamund Pike. Has been uh, cast as the oh, lead. Oh, I heard about yeah. I heard she got cast. Yeah. Yeah, for the lead of the Wheel of Time, she will be playing. I'm just gonna read this article. It's from Variety. I'm just gonna read it out here. Shout out to um, Variety. They're very, they're very reliable. So by Will no. Will Thorne. This article wrote this article. Article. The long gestating Wheel of Time TV adaptation has finally found this lead. This is an Amazon Amazon show, by the way. Um. Rosam- Rosamund Pike has been cast as Moriane. I, th- I don't know how exactly you say it because it's spelled kind of funny. Um, a member of the powerful all-female organization called the Aes Sedai. In, in the Amazon Studios and Sony Picture Television co-production. Based on Robert Jordan's best-selling fantasy novels, The Wheel of Time is set in a high fantasy world where magic exists. But only certain women are allowed to access it. The story follows Moriane as she embarks on a dangerous, world-spanning journey with five young men and women, one of whom is prophesied to be the Dragon Reborn, a powerful individual who will either save humanity or destroy it. The series draws on numerous elements of European and Asian culture and philosophy, particularly Buddhism and Hinduism. Pike, who will also produce, recently starred in the State of the Union alongside Chris O'Dodd. The Sundance TV comedy series consisted of a 10-minute of 10 10 minute episodes which pierced together the reason behind the two characters collapsing marriage. Last year she was nominated for a Golden Globe for her portrayal portrayal of journalist Mary Colvin in A Private War. This has been in development for like a long like they've been trying to do Wheel of Time since fucking since the beginning of time. <laughs> this, is what, <laughs> this is the beginning of time, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean yeah, I'm guessing it's one of those things though. But it looks like it's getting there. It's gonna happen. They got Rosamund Pike to do it, and I'm interested. It was hard. I never finished the books because there's just so many, and then some things started happening in them that I didn't particularly like, and it made me not want to read them. But, but I will probably <laughs> well, I'll check this show out for sure. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I I personally don't know too much about you know this, so I'll yeah, just yeah. I'll just see what happens and see what people say about it, and then maybe check it out but i just i don't know too much about it myself well here's here's some here's a tidbit the first book came out in 1990 so <laughs> mm. this book is as old as i am actually it's older than i am <laughs> uh, uh but it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> uh, all righty Anywho, that's all I got. Uh, definitely worth mentioning because uh, people love that. Yeah, so, love that stuff. Uh, I only have a a couple things here, so we'll just get right to it. Uh, the Game of Thrones prequel is is now in production. Filming has started. Oh yeah, I did read this. So yeah, the Game of Thrones prequel. Uh, if you guys are Game of Thrones fans, uh, and you're and you're looking forward to that prequel show that they're doing, it's uh you know the They've started filming. Production has begun. Uh, it's apparently supposed to be like thousands of years before, like actual Game of Thrones. This type of, like the way they describe the show, makes it seem like it's the old Republic of, like, for Game of Thrones. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> yeah, stuff that's like thousands of years before the the current stuff, and it's like you know, dealing with you know shit from the past and whatnot. So that, that's just what it seems like to me. I'm going to refer to this show as the Old Republic of Game of Thrones. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, you know, it's cool. Let's I, hope I, it can be as good as that. 
Yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah. So that's that. And then the other two things I have are just trailers. So, you know. Uh, Glow Season 3 got a trailer. I love this show so much, y'all. I love Glow. It's a, it's a pretty good show if you guys haven't checked it out. Glow, the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. The gorgeous ladies of wrestling. I actually watched it's this got, too, um, by the way. Got Allison Brie in it and, you know several other people that you might that you may notice mark Marin is in it uh you know there i got the trailer playing it's a solid cast solid show definitely i would say check it out josh and i both like the show There's the trailer playing for you. Oh, sorry, I had to adjust, I had to adjust the, the video a little bit. I, I screwed this up earlier by accident without meaning to. I had to readjust it. Yeah. So, so yeah, this was one of the uh, one of the trailers that we have to talk about. And then the other one that we'll, we'll talk about after this is, is also a Netflix show uh, trailer. Which is... Uh, What's the release date on Glow here? I know I, it'll probably say at the end of the trailer. But uh, we can skip ahead, that. actually. We're not going to watch the whole thing because I'm going to have sound on, but we should check it out. Check out Glow. Yeah, check out Glow. It's a, it's a, it's a good show. August 9th. August 9th. Okay, so August 9th. So this is not as soon. Uh, I'll be at WaveCon when this show drops. Or we'll, we'll both yeah, be at we'll both be there. when this show drops. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll yeah, be bugging Daniel. Let's, let's watch Glow. Let's do it. Let's watch, uh, yeah, let's watch Glow, yeah. Fuck it. I love some Glow. You guys don't understand how much I love this show. It's so good. And the other the other Netflix show trailer that just came out uh, is for a show coming out more recently. It's uh, the Stranger Things 3 final trailer. Now, wow. Are there, are there spoilers in this? I haven't watched it. Uh, is there? I mean, there's, there's nothing really bad in it, is there? You might. I don't know, man. You it's, Should I play it or should I not? Is what I'm asking. <laughs> it's, I don't know, because it, it it depends because I don't know how some people would, you know, determine spoilers. I mean, if, just just to be safe, I'm, I think we probably shouldn't play it. All right, I'm not gonna play it then. It's the because it's the because it is the final trailer. Like that, that's kind of the reason I held back on watching it myself. I was like, mm-hmm. the show is coming out like in a week and a half, so we're almost there, guys. The wait is almost over. Fourth Fourth July is when uh, Stranger Things three is uh is coming out. Um, but yeah, man, I'm super excited for the show. That that trailer, everything I've seen for the season of Stranger Things has me very excited. Uh, I think it'll be better than season two. I mean, I still like season two, but you know, season one is better. I liked them. I love Stranger Things. I remember like when the series, the first season came out, and I was like, man, everybody's talking about this show. It can't live up to yeah. the hype. But it totally did, by the way. It totally lived up to the oh. hype. I watched the entire sh- show in, like, one fucking sitting in, like, at midnight to daylight. It was it was, it was one of those binge shows I did. <laughs> yeah. Looking forward to season three. Absolutely, man. Season three is going to be very, very hype. And then Netflix will cancel it right after that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Let's, no. Please don't. <laughs> Which I still haven't started, uh, Jessica Jones. By the way, I haven't Again, either. I'm telling you, man. So many TV shows I gotta watch. I gotta catch up on. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta catch up on Swamp Thing. We gotta fucking, dude. All these canceled shows, man. We gotta, we gotta catch up on yeah, Swamp yeah, Thing. No. Gotta watch Jessica Jones. So much to watch. I can't, I can't keep up with it all. Oh, Which is funny because it's yeah. the summertime, and and you'd think that there'd be, you know, there wouldn't be as many shows on right now, but wrong. You mentioned There's... Swamp Thing, and you made me think of something. What's up? I I read that Doom Patrol got renewed for season two. I hear good things about that show, yeah. So if you like the Doom Patrol, I've watched a couple of the first episodes. I need to watch the rest of it. I enjoyed it. But I heard it got renewed for season two. I'm like, not 100% sure on that yet. That's cool. I hadn't hadn't heard about that. Because has Titans even gotten renewed yet? I don't even know, man. Which one? How many of these shows have, like, gotten... I don't know, actually. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't seen any of them except for Swamp Thing, so I can't really... I can't speak on any of them except for Swamp Thing. Same. Well, I mean, I, I would guess if... 
Yeah, I would guess if Doom Patrol got renewed, so did Titans, but I don't know. And then the, that's just what I read like earlier. I'll see if I can find it. Again. Yeah, apparently, apparently Titans did. It that's is. what Jake's saying in the chat. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. I'm Sweet. I'm just still bummed out that Swamp Thing got canceled, man. That's the that's like the one show of those that I've actually and watching. And, I know. And I had, I had been looking forward to watching and stuff. So, so bummer, good. Man. Anyway, moving on from that depressing TV show news. Um. Movies, or you got anything else in TV shows? I got nothing for TV shows. Like the, the only reason I even brought up Doom Patrol is because you mentioned Swamp Thing, and it made me think I read that earlier. Gotcha. Okay. Well, and movies, I only have I only have one thing of movie news either, and I'm pretty sure you have right. it. So go for it. Which oh, it's just that Avengers Endgame will be officially released again next weekend with new footage, yes. which is a I do, new. I do Christmas. have I do have that on my list. Yeah, so I'll take that off right now. And you, yep. you can probably speak to it more than I did because I that's all I have. <laughs> Avengers Endgame is releasing. They're trying to beat Avatar's record. Um, uh, yeah, they're going sense. down. They're like, we're fucking taking it. It's our record now, bitches. Is what they're I trying think. To do. I think that with this re-release, they'll probably be able to do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they will too. Last I saw, they were like, they're about like 40 million away. So I think they should be able to do it. They're adding like more footage at the end, or like post credits, or whatever, towards the end of the movie. So I think for that reason alone, and 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 there might be some people who just want to go watch the movie again. So you know, I'll be honest know. with you, I kind of do. I want to go watch it again. I'm at this point. I'm just gonna wait for it on like Blu-ray or whatever. But, um, I mean, yeah. If if you're if you want to go watch it again and you want to go see what that bonus shit is at the end of the thing, then yeah, you're gonna go and uh, go go check it out because they're releasing it to beat Avatar. They're so close, so they might as well just do it. Um, which I have no issue with. I saw people had issues with like them be like, oh, they're you know they're just just trying to beat Avatar. They're just trying to get that money. Like, well, what do you fucking think, man? Well, it's damn a, right, it's a, man. It's a fucking business. Exactly. I was just gonna say that it's a business. They're trying to make money. They're trying to beat Avatar, man. Why would you not want to fucking be number one of all time? Plus, Avatar's got like five hundred sequels coming down the line to try to beat. And, back, and also, so. Avatar re-released their movie as well. How do you think they're one? Yep. It's true. So uh, if they did it, anyone else can do it, man. It's fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let so yeah, like, I, I'm probably not gonna go rewatch it in the theater, but you know, for those of you who do want to, then there's your there's there's your chance. I damn well might. Yeah. All right, moving on to other things. The Joker has been confirmed rated R by the director Todd Phillips. Fuck yes. So this movie is going to be a rated R Joker movie. Very, very, very intriguing. I think this is the right choice. Uh, with when you got Joaquin Phoenix playing the role. Uh, yeah, I mean that just makes me even more excited for this movie. So that is going to be awesome. And all, all I needed was that trailer that they showed, and that was all I needed to be like, okay, this is going to be good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, as soon as I saw Joaquin Phoenix rocking the, the the fucking costume i was like you know what i'm in dude it looks good so hell yeah that movie looks good uh next thing here is the gladiator they're making i don't know if you heard about this but they're making a gladiator sequel there is in development i've heard uh, rumors gonna... about this for years is this the is, yeah. is it the one that they've been talking about like the it's it's a gladiator sequel that's supposed to take place 30 years after the first movie. And I think the main character is supposed to be the kid Lucius. Mm. So that's kind of like what's going on right now. So like, that's the diff. That's a different sequel than what I've heard. The sequel that I heard from forever ago was fucking out there. So it's good that they're changing it. No. Yeah. I mean, I, I, again, I'm sure these, a lot of these movies have been in development for years. So they're always like, you know, changing, yeah, the, changing the ideas up. Interesting that they're doing a sequel to it after all this time, but but yeah, I mean Ridley Scott, dude, he wants to do another. He wants to do another sequel. So thirty years after the original, and it'll be with Lucius. So I love the original, I, so I'm down. I'll be yeah, I love the original, so I'll be curious to see what they come up with in this one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Apparently not, because we need a sequel. Not, <laughs> yeah, speaking of, are you not entertained and, and and gladiator arena fights or whatever? The Hunger Games prequel. Yeah, I heard uh, about this. Lionsgate is planning a Lion a a, a Hunger Games prequel movie in conjunction with the with the May 2020 novel. So they're doing a uh, 
Hunger Games prequel movie uh, and book. So I've never really been too huge on Hunger Games. Like I've only I only saw the movies. I never read the books. I know people really like the books. I so. I I'm not crazy over it. I liked Red Rising way better, <laughs> which is a book series that's all pretty much the same. Yeah, so same I, kind I, of thing. I just wanted to bring it up because I know people like that stuff. I personally like again. I've only seen the movies, but I mean, mm, hey, yeah, yeah. go it's read nice Red year. Rising. It's so good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta shout that book out because I love it. Uh, the other thing I got, a couple other things I have here before we head on to the main topic is uh, yeah. uh, there's gonna be a Kingsman prequel. Matthew Vaughn is doing a Kingsman prequel before he finishes off the trilogy, and th- this prequel will be releasing on Valentine's Day of next year, 2020, February 14, 2020, and the prequel is called The King's Man. Not King's Men. It's called The King's Man. I saw okay? this. Yeah, so The King's Man is a Kingsman prequel coming out uh, Valentine's Day uh, 2020. So that will be interesting. Matthew Vaughn, the same director who's, who's done the previous two movies, will be doing this one. But it is not a third movie. Again, it is a prequel. So, again, it'll be interesting to see how they, how they go about that. That will be... You know, I'm looking forward to that. I, although... I guess uh, I guess I don't know if I am looking forward to that because I haven't. I haven't, seen the second I haven't seen the second one yet either. I've only ever seen the first one. I like the first. I one. I really, really enjoy the first. The first one was one of those movies where I'm, I'm just gonna check this out because I hear good things about it, and you know I didn't know anything about that stuff, but I want to check it out because I heard good things. I didn't need to watch it, it again. It, it just like, it was so good, dude. Like the first Kingsman movie is fantastic, but yeah, I have to check out the second one. I have not seen it. Um, I hear it's not as good as the first one, but I want to check it out for myself. So, hell yeah. So yeah. Um, Halloween two is gearing for a fall shoot, fall of this year. Uh, has a twenty twenty release date. Jamie Lee Curtis is set to return. So what I mean by Halloween two is you know how last or I guess I think it was last year, they did like another Halloween movie. There's gonna be so many of these. <laughs> they're they're doing Halloween two. Uh, Twenty release date is next year, and they're gonna shoot in the fall of this year. And yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis is coming back, so they're doing another Halloween movie. I wonder how many of these. I want to. I need to look up and see, like, in the history of movies, how many movies in the same like franchise like has the most? Because I feel like Halloween has so many. (laughs) It has so many. Yeah, they have they have a lot, and then like what they're doing right now is like they're retconning some of the older movies and just, like the for basically only the first one and this next one, the last one that just came out count. So it, it's it's weird, man. But I, anyway, I still like the old ones, man. I watch them every Halloween because yeah. I like the old ones. I haven't even seen the new one, so. <laughs> yeah, Majin exactly. He's like, it's crazy. That this is the third Halloween. I mean, again, yeah. That's that's it's it's pretty it's pretty insane. They gonna milk them teats till they're dry. Just yeah. That's Maybe a, they'll get some green some green milk out of that. Little um, little little southern euphemism. Uh, uh Pixar got? unveils Soul, a new movie. Uh it has a twenty twenty summer release date. So not only are they doing uh onward, you know that one movie onward? With the you know, yeah. the the, fairy, the like the fantasy fairy tale D and D the movie cartoon for kids, pretty much that's set like in modern times. They're doing that, and they're also doing another Soul, which uh twenty yeah twenty twenty release date. So we're getting more information on what Pixar is doing post uh Toy Story, or actually yeah post Toy Story four. Which by the way, Toy Story four uh just came out in theaters. So oh, did yeah, it come it, out? It dropped today. Yeah, it came out not today like. Uh, yesterday or thursday night so yeah oh yeah go, here we go go check that out guys because i hear it's it's pretty good i didn't realize it was actually in out 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 yet so. yeah yeah like this weekend it just came came out like yesterday so. well i'll be dipped so go check out that toy story foe um and uh let's see what else we got here um oh warner brothers won the bad robot bidding war so jj abrams 
was trying to get his company uh, to be bought out by somebody. Mm-hmm. And there was there was a bidding war. Like there was Warner Brothers, which ended up winning. Um, and there was you know a few other companies, but anyway, they were just trying to see where it would go. And now Warner Brothers is is you know, it's got a claim on them. I think it was like a five hundred million dollar. I'll take I'll take that. For, I'll take I'll take a piece of that. <laughs> yeah right. I don't even need Warner that much. Brothers. So, yeah, there's a lot you could do with like less than that. So give me, give me fifty grand, buddy. I'll be set for. Lo- I could make fifty grand go. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So they signed him an exclusive mega deal. JJ Abrams' Bad Robot with AT and T's Warner Media for five hundred million dollars. Uh, yeah. So this is gonna be huge for them in the in the you know in the current streaming wars that we have with Netflix and Disney Plus and all that shit. So yeah, man, we're gonna have JJ Abrams and his team making stuff for Warner Media. Um JJ's awesome, so, so So yeah, I mean JJ Abrams is, is, is a good dude, so anyway, speaking of JJ Abrams, one of his like trusted producers, uh oh yeah, the, before we get on to that, yeah, JJ Abrams is gonna be doing a Spider Man comic with his son. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That was that whole countdown thing that people were like, "Oh, is there, are they making a Spider-Man four? I've I totally missed out on like all of that, and I came like I joined the, I didn't even join that conversation like halfway through. I was just I spent like part of the week confused as to why this was even a discussion. <laughs> yeah, because they started with a four, which is weird. Because if you're doing a countdown, you don't start with four, right? You start with like five at least, right? Yeah. So I don't know. It was just weird that they started with four, but. So that's what got people being like, whoa, wait a minute, what is this? But anyway, uh, yeah, speaking of J.J. Abrams, one of his producers that has been working on him for the, for a while with stuff, uh, Michelle Rowan, R- 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 apologies, um, but... Names are Lucasfilm, hard, man. <laughs> Lucasfilm has named her as SVP of Live Action Development and Production. So what this means, essentially is that she's going to be kind of like the Kevin Feige of Lucasfilm. So she's going to be in charge of all future uh, movies and uh, TV show, like live, like live action stuff. So this is very cool. Cool. I'm sure that she's been, uh, I mean, if they, if they got her on board, it's because she was the best choice, right? They, I'm sh- surely they must have like interviewed and, and talked to a, a shitload of people. Um, but yeah, Michelle Rowan, uh, she was a producer on The Force Awakens and on The Rise of Skywalker. And let me look up her IMDb real quick. I know she's been in other stuff. Again, she's like a J.J. Abrams uh, producer and stuff. She did all oh, Star Trek Into Darkness. She was involved with that, rather. And uh, Super 8, yeah, a bunch of J.J. Abrams stuff. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Um, the Office. She was involved in The Office, uh, Kirby Enthusiasm, for the Forty Year Old Virgin. So she has she has a lot of a lot of good credits on her. Uh, on a few days, IMDb. yo. So yeah, now now she's gonna be in, in charge of uh, all live action stuff for Lucasfilm, which is very uh, it's very exciting, man. I've I've been wanting Lucasfilm to get somebody in, in a position like this, um, so that they could just let Kathleen Kennedy do her producing stuff that she that she does. But I, I've always wanted Lucasfilm to get some like a Kevin Feige like in charge of all that that, that stuff. So I'm glad that they finally we finally do not have somebody. Michelle Rajwan, um, yeah, man. So uh, well, she's gonna be the one in charge. So hopefully, uh, she, she makes some good decisions. I, I, I'm I'm pretty optimistic about this. So be be good stuff. And the final thing I have here for movies before we move on to the main topic. Is that um, Amy Pascal confirmed that Tom Hardy is coming back for Venom Two? Yes. And there was an interview that they were talking to to Kevin Feige, and they mentioned like the crossover possibilities. And he he's like he's aware of that, but he's like it's also up to Sony because you know that's like their their character and you know whatnot. But we'll see. 
maybe maybe there'll be eventually some crossover with the MCU uh, with with Tom Hardy's Venom. So that's pretty much all I got for movies. I didn't hate Venom. I liked it actually. I didn't hate it either. I didn't think it was that bad, but I didn't think it was like great either so it, didn't, it didn't blow it was, my socks was, off but it was it was just okay. a fine movie like it was yeah, whatever that's okay it's not it's not terrible but it's not great some movies will just be okay although it, when you have a character that cool it really should be a hit out of the park but yeah definitely so hopefully the next next one will be better um but yeah that's that's pretty much it for movie news and all the other news this week. All right. I do think because the next part is going to take a little bit, probably, most likely, we should break. take a break. Yeah. yeah we I should agree. definitely take a break. Um, so, guys, we're going to take a break. I'm going to stop the recording. So we so we have nice two little chunks of video here for when we upload to YouTube. Uh, Indeed, but I'm, so we're going to... Yeah. I'm going to put some music on, and, and we'll be right back in a minute. We'll be back in a little bit, guys. Remember, the main topic is... Uh, <laughs> Not necessarily classic, but just like a lot of it will be. But it's just we're gonna be talking uh, our favorite cla- uh, cartoons and animations. So stay tuned for that. We'll be back in a couple minutes, guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 